Hello again. I'm going to go get started with this micro lecture. This one's on acceleration and velocity vectors. So we already talked about acceleration and what it does. In other words, it's the description of velocity changing. Now we're going to talk about how do we show that with vectors. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and some follow-up questions on Google Form. So little snail's inspired by the movie Turbo, and he's doing some speed training here. And what we're going to be looking at is how do we draw his velocity vector or a vector, an arrow to represent his velocity if he's in fact accelerating. So like velocity, acceleration is a vector. So that means it can be positive or negative. So in this case, we're going to call positive to the right and negative to the left. Uh, and that just kind of shows us direction. So the top arrows are going to be acceleration vectors and the bottom arrows are going to be the velocity vectors. So in this case, if the snail is just beginning to move, he's accelerating, he's probably got a small bit of speed, uh, and we're going to assume he's going to hold his acceleration constant, meaning it's the same amount of acceleration each second or throughout his entire kind of speed training. So after a second of, uh, let's say, running or crawling or slithering, whatever you want to say he is doing, his velocity has increased some, but like I said, we're going to keep his acceleration constant, meaning it's the same amount of change each second. So in this case, we can see that this uh, acceleration arrow, if we were to add it down here into front of the velocity arrow, it would make it about this long. And so that's how we kind of show that that's what it's changing by. So that means if we were going to predict what the arrows would be for this one, we would again add this acceleration arrow to the front of this velocity vector, and we could predict that the velocity vector should be about that much longer. So in this case, the acceleration, notice, is staying constant, so that means his velocity is changing the same amount each time, but his velocity is in fact increasing because he's getting faster and faster. That's the acceleration. So if we look at another snail who's also doing some speed training, but this one is just finishing his race, so he's slowing down, then the way we can show that he's slowing down is actually an acceleration in the opposite direction. So accelerations in the opposite direction of movement uh, cause something to slow down. So in this case, he's starting off going pretty fast, but he's going to be slowing down, which means his acceleration is in the opposite direction. It means it's going to be changing the velocity by decreasing it. So if we were to take this arrow and kind of add it to this one or this vector and add it to this one, it would subtract from it and end up probably about right here or so, which means on the next one, he's going to be moving a little bit slower. Again, constant acceleration or a constant kind of slowing down means that we're going to now take this arrow and subtract it from this one. So it's going to go back. And so we should see something about that length, which is what we expect in this one. So again, remember that positive means to the right, negative to the left is how we defined it. You could switch that. But if you're doing any drawings of vectors, what's important to notice is that the velocity vectors will be changing, and if the acceleration is constant, then the acceleration vector should be the same. Regardless, though, for each kind of second or like snapshot that happens, the acceleration vector should tell you or show you how much the velocity vector changes. That's it for this one. Three bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and do the follow-up questions on Google Form, please.